In the previous video, we spoke about the three components for super tokens, the front end SDK, the back end SDK, and the super token score. In this video, we will go through a sign in flow across all of these three components to further understand how it works. We start with the front end SDK, the back end SDK in the API layer, and the super token score. When the user clicks on the sign in button on the front end, the front end SDK calls the back end layer on the slash auth slash sign in API. This is an API that's exposed by the backend middleware automatically for you. This API validates the input um, in terms of checking if the email is of correct format, if the password is of the right strength that's defined by you, and it also normalizes these inputs. It then calls the sign in API on the core with the provided email and password. The core then checks the password hash from the database associated with the email and verifies the password hash. If the password hashes are correct and they match, then it sends an OK reply to the backend SDK, which uh, along with the user ID of the user who just tried to sign in. The backend SDK then invokes the session recipe to create a new session. In order to do that, it calls this slash recipe slash session post API on the super token score with the user ID of the user for whom the session should be created. The core then creates session tokens, that's the access and refresh token, and stores them in the database and returns them to the backend SDK. The backend SDK then attaches them to cookies and sends them to the front end. This is how sign-in works.